Hi, I'm Tina Dickinson, and today I'm going to show you how to put on a ceiling plate adapter. A ceiling plate adapter is something that when your light comes with a plug-in similar to this, you can clip it off and put on a, an adapter like this and plug it directly into your wall. This is for a 12-volt tape-wired dollhouse. And I get all my products from Circuit Concepts. I love Circuit Concepts. They have terrific customer service and fantastic products. So when you first get your light out of the box, the first thing you want to do is test it and make sure it's working. If anything's wrong with it or the light doesn't come on, check the light bulb, unscrew the light bulb, do a few things, take the wire apart, un kink the wire, make sure that's all good. You can send them back if you haven't put on your adapter in that yet, so check all that first. Sometimes they start working. Um, and the next thing after that is you're, it's going to come with a ceiling plate similar to this, and you're going to remove that from this, this uh, chain link here, the larger one, and you're gonna replace it with a ceiling plate that looks like this. And those ceiling plates are CK806. And they come with that and pins, two pins and some eyelets and brad nails. The eyelets and brad nails are for putting in your dollhouse and that's in another video. But you wanna make sure after you have attached your ceiling plate that you straighten it out, you get all the kinks out of the chain, etc., to make sure it's gonna be okay. And you're gonna take your light and you're gonna run the wires up through the hole in the middle of your your ceiling plate. It has a hole in the middle. You kind of get past that loop, run the wires through the top. And at this point, you're gonna cut that wire. I would give yourself about two inches. And then, uh, then we split this wire, which is a two wire, can't see that too good, but it's a two wire wire, and you're gonna split that in two, and you can use a razor blade to split this, or scissors, or whatever works for you. You're gonna split that down to, and you may want it shorter than two inches, um, but you're gonna split it down to the level of your ceiling plate. You leave that out to the side so that the wires don't want to slip through the ceiling plate. And like I said, you're going to want to cut those a little shorter. Um, I'm going to guess. I kind of go little by little and I like to cut my wires long, especially when I'm first doing something and practice a few times to make sure I've got it down before I actually do uh, the the plate itself because you can run out of wire and get your wire too short so that you know you can't put your plate on so it's a good idea to practice a couple times but I have it here and I'm going to probably cut it down about I would say inch inch and a half And the next thing we're gonna do is strip these wires. You go to about a eighth of an inch above the plate. I use this little stripper from Circuit Concepts, but you can use forceps also. Then you wanna take and Pull them down, oh, maybe fourth to a 
three eighths of an inch. And you take and twist the wires with the plastic on them. Makes it much easier than if you take the plastic off. And then you're gonna snip these wires approximately 530 seconds, which is a little bit over an eighth of an inch. The next thing we're doing, you can see the holes on each side of that center hole. You're going to take and put those wires inside. And you make kind of a enough of a loop that you can work with it. You're not trying to put plastic into the hole and you leave that loop just, it's going to look something like that. And then with your plate will come pins that will look like this. And you're going to take those wires that are in the hole and I kind of start from the outside sort of push that wire over to the center and then you push those pins down Do the second one with the same technique. Sometimes if I can't get it all the way down, I will take and use my pliers to go from the bottom to the top. Get a, get a hold of the top of the pin and the bottom of the plate. And when you're done, it will look like this and you'll take the wires from the bottom and you pull them flush so it'll then look like this and the next thing you do is test your light and there we go beautiful again if you have any comments, please feel free to leave them. Any questions, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you want to get a hold of Circuit Concepts, who is always fantastic, you can get them on the internet at cir-kitconcepts.com. Again, thanks for watching.